What's great about these is that they seal totally airtight. So Hi, welcome to another Spark of Science. My name is Steven. And the real star of the show today is inside of that container, and it's called liquid nitrogen. Now, liquid nitrogen is some of our favorite stuff to use here at the Franklin Institute, but I actually brought a whole bunch of stuff. In fact, everything I brought to use today is stuff. Now in science, instead of using the word stuff, we call all the stuff that makes up the universe, this room, this liquid nitrogen, our bodies, we call it matter. So this is some very interesting matter because it's extremely cold. Nitrogen is a gas at room temperature. So for this nitrogen to be a liquid, it is negative 320 degrees, which means it is boiling. Now this stuff is so cool, I wanna take some with me and try and experiment with it. So I took this container of, uh, it used to have tennis balls in it, and it's really good to reuse things, that way we don't waste. So I'm gonna use this container to hold my liquid nitrogen. And what's great about these is that they seal totally airtight. So, okay, let me, let me try that again. Okay. So like I was saying, these are great because they seal completely. So I can keep all of my liquid. Okay. Remember how I said this is a really good container? It turns out I was wrong. This is a lousy container for holding liquid nitrogen. So I brought something stronger. I have this metal pipe on a stand and I'm going to keep the liquid nitrogen in there with a cork. I'm going to drive that cork in with this mallet. Three, two, one. There we go. So obvious. So none of these tops are staying on. These are really bad containers to hold liquid nitrogen. So clearly we can't put it in a container that we seal. And I'll show you why. Liquid nitrogen, since it's boiling, is turning into a gas. And a gaseous form of a matter takes up more space than its liquid or its solid form. Just like when you put water in a tea kettle and the water gets hot, turns into a gas, takes up more space than it did as a liquid. And when you're sitting in the other room, you know your tea is ready because you hear that gas is escaping through a little hole which makes it whistle. So this is proof, this liquid nitrogen is boiling at room temperature and I should really stick to these expensive containers to hold it. Hey, how's it staying in here? I'm glad you asked. Well, these don't seal. There are no threads or screws to hold this top on. So if I leave it in this container for a week or so, I might come back and find it's all turned to gas. Thank you so much for joining me for another Spark of Science and we'll see you at the Franklin Institute.